In her first interview since the brutal attack on her husband in their San Francisco home, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi gives a harrowing account of how she first got that news. Ann Makovic is here now with more on that, Ann. Yeah, this has clearly hit Nancy Pelosi very hard. In fact, she said the trauma of this attack will weigh on her decision over when to retire. She spoke with CNN's Anderson Cooper and got emotional, taking us back to that morning when she found out what happened. I was sleeping in Washington, D.C. I had just gotten in the night before um, from San Francisco. And the, um, I hear the doorbell ring and think, it's five something. I look up, I see it's five. Who, they must be the wrong apartment. No, it rings again and then bang, 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 bang on the door. It was Capitol Police saying they have to come in and talk to her. She was very scared, she said, her mind racing. When I'm thinking my children, my grandchildren, I never thought it would be Paul because, you know, I knew he wouldn't be out and about, shall we say. And so um, uh, they came in at that time. We didn't even know where he was. He had been rushed, of course, to San Francisco General Hospital to undergo skull surgery to repair the damage done by the intruder armed with a hammer. David DePap still in the San Francisco jail. He is facing a slew of state and federal charges, and he's pleaded not guilty. The attack has raised fresh concerns over threats of political violence and really highlighted the vulnerability of lawmakers and their families nationwide. Liz.